Good morning, happy Monday. I have a lot going on <laughs> at the same time. Coffee, being brewed, Henry's chicken nuggets for his lunch today, an air fryer. I had got scrambled eggs going for Casey for Brecky and toast going, which isn't plugged in. <laughs> it's now to go with the scrambled eggs and I have rice cooking up and I think I think that's it because we had meatballs yesterday for a dinner which were so good we have leftovers tonight but we didn't have any rice and if you've been watching me for a while you know I would say over a year maybe even longer every day for Casey's school lunch he's had a bagel and cream cheese every day every day five days a week you know I, I mean and he never got sick of it he never got sick of it I would have personally you know I would want to switch it up get something different in my lunch but he never got sick of it so I was like okay you know well that, that's good it makes it easy for me um, plate but it's like every day that's what he want that's what he got um, so this morning he wants something completely different he wants meatballs so I was like wow <laughs> yeah I was like okay we can do that so I'm gonna take some meatballs just like warm them up nuke them I'm gonna put the rice in here a separate container and I'll put the meatballs in here uh, because I do have their lunch containers but I'm not sure if it would leak into the other compartments you know when it's in his backpack getting tossed around so just to be safe I'm gonna put them in two separate containers grab him a fork while I think of it and yeah pack pack him snacks and there we go that will be his um monday lunch <laughs> but yeah he said that last night and i was like what? really i thought i was hearing things you know because every day it's been bagel and cream cheese bagel and cream cheese but today he breaks the cycle with meatballs <laughs> scrambled eggs with a little bit of ketchup and a couple of slices of toast with just butter um so yeah order up bra fix is served do you want these? Are these the treats you're looking for? Yeah. <laughs> Take your time. Enjoy them. You just inhale them. My goodness. <laughs> that was some magic trick. Um, I gave you a full plate. What <laughs> happened to everything? Taco ate it. Taco ate it? Well, she was a hungry hamster. Oh my goodness, thank you for bringing your plate back. Alright, so one lunch for meatballs and rice is ready. This part is just empty. This is just um, a little like compartment. Like if you had veggies in here maybe. Uh, uh, and you like, know, and, and your, like you your, your and, dip. And then you can put ranch. Yeah, ranch. So that's what that's for. But we're not, that, that we're not using it. Um, and it's too small just to put rice in there. When it, the rice wouldn't fit. Um, yeah, only gum in it will. Yeah, only it. some would. So I put it in the same container. Not all it I had fit. enough room. And besides, he's just going to mix it together, anyways. So, yeah, that's his lunch. Four meatballs cut up and some rice. Knock, knock. Did you like bury yourself? <laughs> Hi. Hi, sleepyhead. You look nice and cozy. Oh, okay, sweet dreams. Oh my God. <laughs> she really tucked herself in. <laughs> yeah, let's see what's like. Uh, it's probably cold. <laughs> not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah, not too bad. But I might get cold. Yeah. Might. Not too bad. I see birds in the tree. You see birds in the tree. I see. I see gummy boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you think, Kitty? Is it is it cold or good enough? Is it good? 
Mm -hmm. This is our expert. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like she's like, what's on your hand? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, we have to get going. With the, we're distracted. Sorry, we're late. We got distracted by our cat. <laughs> All right, off to school we go. We're just waiting for Henry. I'm going to be driving them, um, which happens once in a blue moon. I got the backpacks. One is very heavy um, because because Henry has um, his math textbook in there. He had to study. Uh, so he studied last night and this morning he went over it. So yeah. When he comes, you can always tell when he comes home with his math book, his bag, you know, weighs like 10 pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm driving him to school because somebody, not to mention any names, that start with uh, a C, <laughs> you know, uh-huh, and, and in a Y, he woke up at an ungodly hour, so the heavy got up with him, and yeah, so I will be driving him. Ugh which happens once in the blue moon, and we're just waiting for Henry. As usual, he's getting his stuff on. I see him getting his shoes on. And then we'll be, we'll be off. We'll click our heels, and we'll be off. If only it worked that way. <laughs> Can we just teleport everywhere? You know, that'd be so much easier. Yeah. All right, then we'll come home. I have coffee. I need one. And we'll talk about a certain Christmas gift. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I have an update on that Christmas gift. Yes, but we will chit chat about that over coffee. Excuse me, didn't I just put you in the car? <laughs> <laughs> I need your brother to hustle his caboose. What are you? <laughs> All right, now we can go home. Boys are dropped off. We can go home, have a cup of coffee, warm up. I am super grateful for heated seats, <laughs> but it's cold out, it doesn't take long to get warm, yes, whoever invented that, kudos to you, yes, that was an amazing invention. The next amazing invention is a coffee maker, <laughs> yep, alright, home we go. Oh, that was worth the wait. Mm. Oh, that is so good. So if you have any more than a cup of coffee or tea, enjoy. Here's to a wonderful Monday. Cheers. Clink. Oh, I have been looking forward to that. Mm. <laughs> because usually I pour my cup as soon as I pull out the driveway. It's like phew, right to the coffee maker. But I had to drive them, which is okay. Oh, definitely worth the wait though. Oh yes. Mm. Look like cute chipping chipping dale. Yeah. He looks like he's like and nosy. Yeah. What's in the present? Uh, yeah, that that that's me. <laughs> like yeah, uh, shaking it, trying to figure out what's in there. Yeah, that's that's me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um yeah, so drove the boys, they were probably um five minutes. Um, they probably had like five minutes to spare and uh, yeah they're off to school so um, when we were on the way to school they noticed because um, where Dairy Queen is going they're knocking down two houses they are in the middle of doing that and they were like horse they noticed that right and they're like oh what's you know what's going on I'm like oh it's a Dairy Queen coming and Casey was like oh can we go there when they're all done? I'm like, uh, yes. <laughs> Bet your bottom dollar we will. Um, and Henry was like, oh, when are they going to open? I'm like, um, well, probably not till, I would say probably spring maybe. So definitely not next year. And I'm guessing maybe around springtime. And I told them, you know, once they start building, they won't take long. Um, we got our Wendy's. Wendy's came, when was it? around two years ago and when they started to build it just it didn't take long after that you know they were open pretty quick once they started to to build 
Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, they're knocking down two houses. I'm not sure if these houses were beyond repair, um, or if they bought the houses so they can knock down the houses for the property. I, I don't know. It could be either or. I'm not sure. So, um, yeah, they're the house they're being knocked down, and I, I kind of hope that they were beyond repair, you know, but yeah, it's just, yeah. Um, but yeah, either one, it could be, yeah. So, but it's exciting. Get a Dairy Queen, get McDonald's and Wendy's in competition, and they're all on the same road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have McDonald's, and then a little bit down the road, you have Wendy's. Um, and then go a little bit down farther, and then it'll be Dairy Queen. They're all on the same road. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, that's exciting. Can't wait. Um, yeah. So, um, about the boys Christmas present okay I have been patiently waiting to hear back from the company um, what are you doing he's on the counter you after more treats yeah you probably are you had enough <laughs> she's like no I haven't <laughs> oh, this is why I go through them so fast <laughs> Mm. Um, yeah, so I emailed the company because first of all, um, I, if you haven't watched, um, just to, well, we want a bit, you know, long story short, I ordered the boys Christmas gifts and something they really, 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 really want. Okay. It's two items. Okay. They each get the same thing. I ordered two of each item and this is something, something that they've been wanting for a long time. So I'm like, hey, Christmas. Perfect gift for Christmas. And I can't wait to see their excitement because their excitement's going to hit through the roof, okay? I can't wait to get on film. I, can't, I, I just can't wait. Like, I want the package to come, wrap it up, and like, okay, is it Christmas yet? <laughs> you know, because that's how good it's going to be. And it's just, it's something that, you know, because you, when you know it's something that they really really want and it's from a youtube channel that they watch i talked about it in the past it's from lanky box they love lanky box and lanky box is the youtube channel they mostly play play roblox uh, but it's a youtube channel if i have to sit in the same room and they're watching youtube and that is the video they're watching i don't mind okay if it's one of the channels that they watch um, I don't mind watching, because believe me, there's a lot of other channels I watch that I cannot stand. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's another video. <laughs> I could go on, but there's, there's just quite a few that they watch. There's some that they don't, they don't watch all the time, but once in a while, and then they turn turn it on, it's like, oh my gosh, can you make another YouTube video? <laughs> I'm sure they probably said the same about my videos, right? Because we both have different tastes in, you know, videos. Their, their videos on YouTube is like, you know, gaming, right? Roblox, Minecraft, and like, um, kind of geared to their, their age, right? And, but yeah, it's just, yeah. But it's a channel that if I'm in a room and I have to watch it, I don't mind watching it. And, um, yeah, and this is something that they've been wanting for a long time. So... So I ordered it Black Friday, okay? I was going to order it, like, back in October, but I thought, you know what? Let's wait till Black Friday, okay? Uh, yeah, I think everybody else had the same same idea. Um, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Um, so I, I ordered it Black Friday, and now the size I wanted to get, they didn't have. So I ordered on the next size up, so they might... Excuse me. They might be big. Um, because it was very hard to pick a size between a large and extra large. Because I measured Casey's measurements. And some of his measurements were close to what they had on their website for a large. And then some of his measurements were closer to an extra large. So, but the large was all sold out. So I had to get an extra large. Um, because... Well, number one, we're getting close to Christmas. And um, number two, I don't know if, when they're going to be, if they're going to be restocked in time for that particular size large. 
And number three, if it's a little bit too big, it, they will eventually grow into it. It'll eventually fit. I'd rather it be a little bit too big and a little snug. I know it's just really hard because I want it to fit for a little bit, like a couple of seasons at least, right? Um, so yeah, that's going to be my next, you know, <laughs> thing to find out when it comes if, to like eyeball it and see if it looks too big or if it will fit. But um, I think either way it'll be fine. It might be like a little, run a little bit big on them, but it should fit. So yeah, it is clothing, but um, it's very exciting and this is what they want. It. And, um, and so I ordered it extra large and then I ordered something else. So... And because I spent so much money on what I ordered, I got something, a mystery plush. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to give that. I don't know. I'm like, I, I got one mystery plush and it's like, oh, I have two boys. Okay, fight for it. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm like, I don't know. They're going to have to share, you know. It's like, yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what I got. I don't know what I'll do with that one. Um, but we'll see. Um, but um, so I ordered it, and I never got a confirmation email. Um, and you were supposed to. And every or every item that you order from their shop, it gets a, a transaction number. Okay, so you no, not a transaction number. I mean a tracking. Sorry, <laughs> tracking number. Um, so you can track it, which is great because, you know, around this time, there are porch pirates and it doesn't happen to us a lot. It happened to me one time during the pandemic. I ordered a cute pair of sandals and I never got them. Somebody swiped them. It was probably Swiper, right? Swiper, <laughs> Swiper no swiping. You know, yeah, it probably was. Yeah. And some people did not watch Dora, did they? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not okay. I need more coffee. <laughs> Mm. but it does happen around here not too often but ever since that happened which was probably about around a year year and a half ago um you, you keep an eye out you know and with amazon amazon tells you when it's being delivered if it's being delivered that day okay great keep an eye out on your front door you know your area there and you know it'll say okay delivered and half the time we find we um we find the package outside and we grab it then we get the email oh it's been you know delivered um but but it's just nice because you want to keep ahead of it keep track of it get on top of it you know you spot it pull it in you know like it, grab it in your house before anybody else does and it's like okay because then it takes like eight to 15 business days to arrive okay so it takes quite a few days and it's coming from the states um hey it cost me an arm and a leg you know so yeah, um, once you convert it, the, the, you know, American, you know, to Canadian money, which isn't always pretty, we always pay more, and uh, it, it wasn't pretty, but it was worth every penny, it was, um, $20 shipping, so, but I didn't get a confirmation email, but the money came out of the bank, I'm like, okay, well, that's a good sign, and it had the, the shop, okay, it had Linky Box, okay, I'm like, okay, that's a good sign. I'm going to take that as a good sign, but I'm still going to check into it. I'm going to email them. So I emailed them. They got back to me really quick. And this was all Friday morning. They got back to me pretty quick. And um, they could have could have find that they could have find that order. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean you can't find it? <laughs> you know. So they asked for more information, like my name and email address and home address and all that. Okay. So I'm like, okay, get right on there, okay, yeah, 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 you know, nervous butterflies, you know, and did it, okay, there, send it off, and hoping to hear from them in like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and nothing for the rest of the day. <laughs> like, why, why? And this was Friday morning, so I, I don't know if the person who was helping me got busy with something else. Um, maybe they left early because Fridays, you know, sometimes, sometimes you leave the office early on a Friday and then the weekend didn't help because it was a weekend and people were off the weekend so you know good luck and I thought okay well I could e try emailing again but I'll wait if I don't hear anything by Monday I will email them and you know do that again right and just go through that loophole <laughs> and um and then it's like I wake we wake up this morning and you know like like everybody else in the world, 
the first thing you do <laughs> is, you know, I check my phone. Uh, I have notifications up, up on the screen. Um, I don't click on them. I just see which notifications I have to get back to whenever I get to sit down and have free time. Sometime in the morning. And usually after I'm done, you know, getting the kids stuff ready, lunches and all that. And I'll sit down and get back to a few. Well, I got back to one notification right away. Well, I clicked on it right away because it was the email from um, the support on from Nike Box. So I went <laughs> right away. Right away. Okay. Good news. They have found so they I guess they need all my other information. They have found the item. I got the tracking number. I got everything. Um, I even got information that okay, it cleared customs and it's somewhere in Toronto. It's like in Toronto right now, so it should be here maybe this week. I'm hoping. Um, and it's even showing like how close it is, and it's actually like um, it's close. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, the big sigh of relief and that stress is it's adios. It's gone, but because like this was like. A big part of the Christmas present and it's like you know this is a pretty big big deal for myself you know because I want to see the reaction I'm looking forward to it I can't wait for Christmas um you know I can't wait to film it I want to get their reaction and it's gonna be worth it you know but it was just like you know I I, I don't know because like I didn't get a confirmation email I don't know maybe because it was like Black Friday and everybody was on the system you know and it was just a fluke and I never got an email back you know saying oh here's your number here's your tracking number here's your order number with all that information um you know because that's what usually happens when you order from a website you get it like right in your email right away so and then like they had my email and they had my name and that I guess they couldn't find anything under that so that's why like, I got the glitch you know because you would think all you would need would be my email and a name but um nope but they I guess need they need the address and phone number too so oh yeah <laughs> oh so my my Monday started pretty good yeah I was like okay awesome you know sigh relief and now I can put that behind me and hopefully they fit you know when I got them and um I'm sh I'm sure they will they might be a little bit big but yeah but I'm just glad now now I can keep an eye on it and once it gets delivered I can grab it because I'm making sure nobody nobody takes that. <laughs> no 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 no. Swiping, no swiping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um so yeah, just happy that that is settled and taken care of. And now I can finish getting the rest of their Christmas gifts and yeah. I think there's a few on Amazon I have to order um, because like any kid, you know, last minute, well it's not last minute, but Casey mentioned he wants something, so it's on Amazon, so <laughs> I was like, okay, you know, let me, Amazon, so yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, and Santa, was it yesterday we were talking about, no, the day before, we were talking about seeing Santa Claus, we, we haven't really seen Santa Claus since before the pandemic and um and then Casey mentioned he wanted to see Santa and then later was it last night Henry mentioned I think it was last night last night Henry mentioned he wanted to see Santa too even though I, I, Henry Henry knows that Santa um doesn't you know like doesn't exist you know and um he knows that I moved the elf, but I think Casey still doesn't know that I moved the elf. So we keep it, we keep that, you know, he doesn't spoil it for him. Um, but I'm not sure if Casey still believes, like, if he, you know, believes in Santa or not. Because they are, they are the age where they don't, they don't, you know, they don't, they don't believe in them. Or, like, they hear it from school. That is where they hear it from school. Like, because they're, they're at the age where they will start not to believe in him and they will hear it from a friend at school you know that is what happens and and i think casey i think casey still like you know believes in him um but yeah and we haven't seen him and like i heard going to the mall is kind of well not as it used to be because people make the people that make reservations i guess you can make a reservation and usually I just I just go whenever we have free time I never really you know 
plan a, like a set date and time to see Santa. Um, so I don't I don't know like you you can make reservations and like look I don't really want it. like I don't really want to do that just just in case something happens you know um but like if somebody is unwell you know like it's just I'd rather not because that's why I always go whenever we're free and we just go with the flow with that so um yeah and then like if you go there and you don't have a reservation but somebody has a reservation they go ahead of you and so it might take longer to go see Santa um and we used to go to call us aunties but we missed that this year but that, that's okay uh that one is really nice that one they have a nice setup nice background they have like a huge sled they have santa and the guy who does a santa is fabulous wonderful with the kids um i think it's 15 dollars. i think though before it was 10 dollars, so i'm pretty sure it was 10 dollars. you get your picture taken and i think it's 15 now because you know inflation everything goes up a bit unfortunately so you do get a picture of it um, emailed is it emailed to you or it's on my website i don't know but yeah but they only do that for three sundays so i think the sunday is the last so yeah uh well, that's all the way you know kingsville and you know not sure but santa is coming to amherstburg so he might do that. Now, he will be in a snow globe, so he won't be really just sit on his lap because remember, remember I was talking about during the pandemic, like I saw a line that people went to see Santa and he was like behind, he was like he was in, the, in his own bubble and like you stood in front of him and I was like, okay, that's kind of, you know, like to me it was, it's just pointless, but um, if it makes your kids stay, you know, that's fine, but it's like, okay, but then it's like, you know, why are we telling our kids to sit on a stranger's lap? <laughs> you know, like I, I have that thought too. You know, it's like maybe this is a better way to see Santa than sitting on his lap. I don't know. Like anybody else? Like it's like you know we tell our kids you know about strangers and yeah don't sit on a stranger's lap and here you are sitting on a stranger's lap. You know, I you know it's Santa, but you know still <laughs> the thought has crossed my mind. Oh uh, yeah, um, so, but he's going to be in Amherstburg, um, I gotta double check, oh, I think I wrote it down, I did, and he will be in, and I think Mrs. Claus will be there too, and he will be in, like, a snow globe, um, but if the kids are happy with that, so, you know, we could just do it that way, uh, let me see, oh yes, December 16th, okay, okay, and our, our town did this before, it's Santa shout out, our town did this before, I wasn't vlogging at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that was a year. Um, that was a year. You know what? I'm going to have to do a video on our Santa experiences because that was a year Henry wasn't very pleased. <laughs> no, no. No, you know what? Let's do a big, separate video on our Santa experiences because they are funny, you know, like, you know, when they don't, um, smile or that you, you, you know what i mean they freak out yeah like, yeah i might talk about that later down the road um this is going on long enough okay this this is today's video <laughs> getting ready for school dropping the boys off and a long coffee chat yeah <laughs> mm. oh all right so i'm going to finish my coffee grab another cup of coffee and clean up the living room and yeah take my time it's monday don't rush it's monday <laughs> I know, take it slow. And uh, yeah, I'll see what I get up to today. Probably just cleaning and I still have to fold that laundry upstairs. Yeah, I still have to do that. Um, do I want to do that? No, no, no. Will I let it sit up there in the baskets, unfold it? Mm, yeah, there's a good chance I'll be doing that, so. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful day, I hope your week is amazing, and um, I'm going to finish my coffee and fill it back up. Oh, I get something to eat. Yeah, it's after 9 o'clock, I need something to eat. <laughs> Coffee's not breath fix, you know? <laughs> oh, some days it is, some days it is, some days, yeah, some days it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then um, I'll check back in. Alright, so I just checked 
the email that I got this morning about the boys' Christmas gift. Um, I want to check the arrival date, the estimate delivery date, and December nineteenth is the d delivery date. I thought it'd be this week because you know on the on the screen it shows oh this much right. So oh okay, it's pretty close. No, it's not. <laughs> and Toronto isn't far from us. It's not. Um, but that's the estimate delivery date is December 19th. So I'm kind of glad, um, that everything worked out, that they found it and that it's on its way. And that I don't have to reorder it because if I had to reorder it, I don't think it would get here in time because it takes 8 to 16 business days. And they shipped it two days after I ordered it. So, um, which, yeah, which is normal, all right? They it usually get shipped that day or a couple days later so yeah hopefully it comes before the 19th i really want it in my hands right now um but hopefully it comes before um i will keep an eye out for it and just in case you know just in case it decides to come earlier and change its mind so yeah anyways i'm just gonna end the vlog now because <laughs> i just looked to see how long it was and yeah it's long enough um when the boys come home i'm going to tell them about santa and um, if they want to see Santa outside of a snow globe, I think I would prefer that than uh, going to the mall. So, <laughs> I know. even though it's like, oh, a snow globe, you can't really sit on his lap. So, like, what's the point? And even though I knew why why they did that the past two years, right? And I think, what was it the first year they did it? But yeah, in 2020. And I remember that... Um, they start doing pictures with Santa and then we went to lockdown and then yeah everything changed yeah uh, but I get why they do it in like a snow globe or like you know his own bubble um, but um, it's but at the same time it's like oh well, this kind of sucks you can't sit on his lap but it's kind of like you know but yeah you're asking your kid to sit on some stranger's lap I don't know but you know but if your kid's happy that's all that matters you know it, it rather they you know sit on his lap or they take a picture in front of a snow snow globe that's what that's all that matters as long as they're happy so yeah um we'll see maybe we'll, we'll see santa that way we probably will because it, it's just right in town and um i don't know how busy the mall will be maybe like really busy um eh, yeah so we'll see the mall does a good setup too they really do yeah we'll have to see um, if they want to sit on his lap, but like if they'll be fine with a snow globe or if they want to sit on his lap um, You know if if they do maybe we can try to go to the mall. We'll see. Uh, it's still early uh, But yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna say goodbye and I will I, I, I'm gonna see if I can find some pictures um, Of us seeing Santa. I do have some and maybe I will do a separate video on our Santa experiences because it it has been fun It has it has been interesting seeing Santa. Yeah, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> oh, oh, like it's just you know, cause you know, kids, they either want to see him or they absolutely, absolutely want nothing to do with Santa. Yes, and I've had both, <laughs> both experiences. Yeah. Um, all right, so I'm just going to finish my second cup of coffee and say goodbye. I was, I'm going to be cleaning anyways, so that's my Monday. Rest of my Monday doing boring adult chores but this video is long enough so thanks for hanging out with me this morning and getting everything ready for the boys this morning helping me get helping me get them out the door <laughs> and off to school and thanks for having a coffee chat with me so uh i'll see you next fun video take care be blessed and as always talk to for now bye